friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I am so excited about today's video. As you know, if you follow my channel, I started out on the green plan when WW made all their transitions over to the new colors of plants. From there, I decided it would be best for me a few months ago to transition to the blue plan just because I had a little bit more control and was making a little bit better food choices with the additional zero point foods. Shortly after that, I made my clean approach to the WW program where I eat a clean whole food diet 90 plus percent of the time. When I made that video and talked about moving from green to blue i talked about eventually wanting to be on the purple plan because it just lends itself to my clean approach to ww all of the foods that i eat the clean whole real food is zero points i was nervous because of portion control so as time has went on from starting this clean approach to the program I think I'm ready to give the purple plan a bit of a try. So this week I am filming my entire week of what I am eating on the WW purple plan. I'm going to show you all of my food for the week. I'm going to show you quite a few recipes because I'll be making dinner most nights of the week. And we're going to talk about points and calories as I'm double tracking both. So I'm going to talk to you each day about how many points I ate, how many calories I ate, and we're gonna do kind of a rundown each day of how I'm feeling so far on the purple plan. So today is day one, it is Monday. I am doing this Monday through Friday this week, and at the very end, we'll also talk about weight loss. How much did I lose on the purple plan? Was it successful? Did I like it? Do I think it's something I will continue to do or eventually transition over to? So without further ado, let's jump into this what I eat in a week on the WW Purple Plan. Good morning, happy Monday. It's day one of my week on the purple plan and per the use, I'm having coffee. So in my coffee today, I have of course my vital proteins, collagen, peptides. These are in my Amazon store, which is linked down below if you are looking for these. They're the best. And today I decided to put in the Organic Valley Caramel Creamer, which I actually just bought this and it's delicious. So this is regular creamer, no low sugar, sugar free, none of that. It actually has really, really good ingredients. And this brand actually does not have natural flavors, which is awesome. So it is two smart points for two tablespoons. So that is what I put in my coffee. So my coffee this morning is two smart points. So here's this morning's breakfast. It is currently 7 30. I just got back from uploading my meal prep video. So what I'm having is my meal prepped oatmeal power bowl. This is on my meal prep video and it's also on my website. My website is linked down below, but this bowl is amazing. It's so good. It's oatmeal and chia seeds with almond milk. My toppings here are pumpkin seeds, coconut flakes, flax, and blueberries really good whole food in this entire bowl is only four points on the purple plan and that's toppings included and then i'm going to have one hard boiled egg and i just add the tiniest bit of this french's honey mustard this actually has really good ingredients and i add that for zero points of course the egg is zero points and i have started on my water for the day so I have some lemons, limes in there. So this is water number one. So my breakfast is four smart points. So here is today's lunch. I'm having my meal prep. This is the chicken mango wrap that I did in my meal prep. So it is zero points for the chicken mixture. It's just chicken and salsa, zero for the lettuce, zero for the mango, and it is three points for my wrap. I'm using the Siete almond flour wrap. It is three smart points per wrap. So this entire thing is three points. I'm going to pair that just with some strawberries and some blueberries. And then a little bit later, I may have some kombucha and maybe a small snack. I am going to work out today. So of course I'll show you guys that when I do that, I have an errand to run. I'll take you with me, but it is about 11. So I'm just going to eat some lunch really quick before I head out to run one errand. I'm actually going to target for a pickup and stopping by my real estate office. So I'm going to eat some lunch for three points and we'll head out the door. Hey guys, I am in the car. I'm actually headed out now to go to Target. I did a curbside pickup because 
I'm getting a sourdough bread starter from one of the other agents in my office. I'm so excited. I'll show it to you guys when we get home, but I needed to get a big glass jar to put the starter in, one that can hold four cups of water, and I didn't have anything like that. Plus, there was just a few other things that I wanted to have on hand, so I went ahead and did a quick Walmart curbside pickup. They did have, if you spend $40 on laundry care, you get a $10 gift card, so I did that. I stocked up on my Incent Wash Booster that I love. So I'll share my little haul when I get home. And while I'm out, I'm going to go ahead and run by my office and pick up the sourdough starter. I can't wait, you guys. I'm going to make sourdough bread. So of course, you guys will get to see that because I'll probably either make it today or tomorrow. Cannot wait. Oh, and I brought with me kombucha. So I'm going to have this sip on this. I am probably not going to drink the whole bottle. Normally, I don't even count kombucha, but because I am doing the purple plan and I want to do it 100% perfect, I'm going to count my two points for what I'm going to drink of the kombucha. And I just had my lunch, which was amazing. So I'm going to run a couple errands and then we'll head on home. All right, she's here. My little sourdough starter. So let's go home and get this ready to go. So here's what I picked up at Target. Mainly I went to get the stuff for the sourdough starter. This is her, she's so cute, you guys. So we're gonna start this too before I go do my workout. But basically I went to pick up what I needed for that. So let me show you what I grabbed. So I did spend $50 on laundry in order to get $10 back, which is fine because it gave me a chance to stock up on laundry and get an extra 10 bucks for Target at another time but I grabbed a pack of the Gang Flings. We really like these. I just bought a big box of Tide Pods at Costco, but this will be nice to have as well. Lots of scent booster, just different smells. So I grabbed this Downy Bliss, sounds awesome. And then I also got the Downy Refresh and the Downy Cool Cotton, that sounds really good. And this intrigued me. This is the Unstoppables in Old Spice. I love the smell of Old Spice. So I'm excited about that. So I bought those five things and that gave me the $10 back. And then I grabbed this jar. And the reason for this jar is for the sourdough starter, but now I'm not sure if this is a good idea because am I gonna be able to get the sourdough dough out of the top? So I need to think more about that, but it, the jar should be glass or the container should be glass and should hold four cups of water. That's why I picked that up. And then I grabbed some just plain white flour for the sourdough. I wanted organic. They did not have any, so got that. Grabbed this candle because it was only $5. Soft cashmere and lavender. It smells really good. Love it. And then I grabbed some more old fashioned organic oats just because I'm running low on my Thrive ones and I won't be putting in a Thrive order for a little bit. So I grabbed that. Also some organic salsa because I was going to pick this up at Trader Joe's, but they didn't have any. And I'm wanting this with my Siete chips and my Siete queso and kind of make like a nachos. Doesn't that sound so good with maybe some beans? Yum. So I grabbed that. Paper plates because paper plates are life when you don't want to dirty up dishes random paint brushes because we have to do a little bit of painting around our house. I have a couple little projects that I want to do, so I grab those. And lastly, a couple bags of whole wheat pasta since I'm on the purple plan and I've really never tried whole wheat pasta and I wanted to give it a try. I grabbed the Simply Balanced Far Farful, which is kind of the bow tie pasta, and then the Fusilli, which is kind of like a rotini pasta. So I don't know if I'm going to like them, but I grabbed them just since I'm on the purple plan. So that is my little target haul. All right, I'm ready to do my sourdough. So I have my starter. This is from one of the agents in my real estate office. Oh, so weird. You know what it looks like? Like a really kind of thick paste. Look at that. So we're going to go ahead and add that all to my big jar here. And she said, once it grows, before you bake the bread, if you pull out another starter you'll have it forever as long as you reserve some of the loaf for another starter you can keep making bread basically out of the exact same starter so how cool is that it smells really good it actually smells like glue <laughs> it smells like sourdough bread so we're gonna go ahead and add in our starter and then to our starter 
We are supposed to add one cup of flour. I'm scared to do this. Okay, so we're gonna add the one cup of flour to that. I did decide to use the jar that I bought at Target because I think it's gonna still be really easy to get that get the loaf out of there once it's ready. So I realized you were supposed to use whole wheat flour. Dang it, so I hope that this doesn't affect it because I just used white flour. So hopefully not, so I can make one with the whole wheat. And then I have room temperature, half of a cup of filtered water. So I just used my Brita here. And then you're supposed to stir this together with a fork until it's all incorporated. And it should be kind of like a thick paste, it says. And she said, if I'm going to be baking my bread either today or tomorrow, to go ahead and leave my jar here out on my counter and if i'm not going to be making my bread in the next day or two i'm supposed to put it in the refrigerator so i think what i'm going to do is probably bake my bread tomorrow tuesday so i'm just gonna let it sit i'm gonna get this combined and we're ready to go and there she is so she's gonna sit here on my counter for 24 hours so we'll check her tomorrow I really hope it works with the white flour. All right guys, I'm headed out to do Jazzercise On Demand. So 40 minutes of workout and then I've got editing to do, all sorts of things. I'm pretty excited about my sourdough. I hope that it turns out, what the heck? So I'm gonna go work out and get a little bit of movement in today. Uh, let me show you my Fitbit before and I'll show you my Fitbit after. All right, so here's my Fitbit before and it is 12.25. Clearly I haven't done much, so I'm gonna head on out and I'll show you my Fitbit after. And done, look at that you guys, sweat. Just dripping sweat, but it was a fabulous workout, so let's take a look at my Fitbit. And after, look at that, three flights of stairs when I had one because we jump around so much. 46 active minutes and 7,500 steps. So what is that, almost 4,000 steps just in that like 40 minute workout? Craziness, I feel fantastic though i am hungry after my workout it is protein shake time so i have it here in my magic bullet so i have one frozen banana i have one scoop of the primal kitchen collagen fuel and peanut butter this stuff is so good you guys i actually bought this off of the primal kitchen website but I'm gonna see if I can find it somewhere else so that you don't have to place a minimum order on the Primal Kitchen. If not, I'm gonna link wherever I can find it for the least amount of money. But it is two smart points per scoop. It has amazing ingredients, like perfect ingredients. It's non-dairy, it has collagen, so it supports your healthy hair, skin, and nails. It's paleo, keto, no gluten, soy, grain, or whey, and no filler, all thriller, as Bobby on Flav City would say. So excited, you guys. It's delicious. The peanut butter is so good. I'm definitely going to be ordering some more flavors. So added that. And then I have one cup of the Forager cashew milk, which you guys know is my favorite. So it's two points for the cashew milk, two points for the collagen fuel. So this is a four smart point protein shake. I'm going to blend it up. All right. And here it is, you guys. It's so freaking good it is so good it is the perfect combo of peanut butter and banana so this is my four smart point afternoon snack i don't know if i'll have anything else before dinner if i do i'll definitely show you so for night one dinner on the purple plan i'm making a turkey skillet dinner i'm going to pair that with some roasted potatoes i'm actually really excited for tonight's dinner so let me show you what's in our dinner first you're going to need a pound of 93 percent ground turkey you can substitute 99 percent i'll make sure that i put the points on my website for that it'll be lower points but i like this a little bit fattier turkey better so i'm going to use the 93 percent you'll need some oil of your choice i have avocado oil salt and pepper garlic powder onion powder parsley and a big bunch of fresh asparagus and then for our potatoes i'm going to be using these organic reds i'm going to spray them with a little bit of the chosen foods avocado oil spray and for seasonings i'll probably do salt and pepper and some onion salt maybe just pepper pepper and onion salt from trader joe's and then of course my favorite seasonings from dax this is the green zest you guys know i use this every single time i make potatoes I will tell you that if I do switch over to the purple plan at some point in my life, I'm going to buy stock in the green zest because it is amazing on potatoes and vegetables. So good. It is salt free, no MSG, all natural, very, very limited in ingredients, literally spices, dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic. That's it. 
really great on potatoes and veggies. I do have a code for Dax, it's here on the screen and the link is down in the description box. They have over 20 seasonings, highly, highly recommend, especially if you're someone that watches your salt or before weigh in, it's awesome. So let's get started on dinner. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and chop up our asparagus. I'm just gonna throw this, throw it here in this bowl until we're ready for it in the skillet. I'm also going to dice the potatoes. I'm gonna put them directly onto a baking sheet covered in parchment paper, and then we'll get the meat going and get these potatoes in the oven. We're ready to season our potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a quick, quick spray, I should say, with the Chosen Foods avocado oil. And I'm just gonna use my hand and kind of mix those up a little bit just to make sure that the potatoes get coated in the avocado oil spray. And then we'll add our seasonings. So first I'm gonna go ahead and add on just a little bit of pepper. We do like pepper on our potatoes. It just brings out that good, yummy flavor. Reminds me of a big baked potato. And then we're also going to add some of the Trader Joe's onion salt. And I'm gonna use this in place of regular salt just to add a little bit of the onion and the parsley and some of those other good seasonings that are in there. And last, we are going to use the star of the show, the Dax Green Zest, you guys know. I'm obsessed with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that liberally over my potatoes. Now these are going to go into the oven at 425 until they're cooked through and let's get started on the skillet. Before the skillet, I went ahead and added one tablespoon of avocado oil to my pan. To that, I'm in my one pound of ground turkey and we're going to let this cook down until the ground turkey is cooked all the way through. And the oil will just add that little bit of fat for when we pop in our asparagus. Once your meat has started to cook, we're gonna go ahead and add some spices. So first I'm going to do just a pinch of salt and also a pinch of pepper. And then we're going to do some onion powder and probably about a teaspoon or so worth of that. And also some garlic powder and same, about a teaspoon or so worth of that as well. And then lastly, we're gonna add a little bit of parsley. And then we're gonna add in our whole entire bowl of cut asparagus. And we're gonna let that cook down while the meat continues to brown. All right, so here's my dinner for tonight. This is one fourth of the turkey skillet. It only makes four servings. And then I have some roasted potatoes here, about two small size red potatoes chopped up. So it is five smart points on both the blue and purple plan and green plan if you use 93% turkey. Again, you can lower the points with 99%. And then it is zero smart points for the potatoes on the purple plan. So my dinner is five smart points. And then I'm having a Zevia Cola for zero. So this is a five smart point dinner. All right, here's my dessert for tonight. We're keeping it simple. I'm actually about to get on a Zoom call with a for a new product that I have found that I'll be sharing with you guys down the line. Super excited. So I'm just gonna have these. I'm gonna hop in the shower from my workout. I'm gonna finish my day out with the Smart Sweets and I believe that puts me at 23 out of 24 points on the Purple Plan for today. And you guys, it went so good today, so good. I do have free shipping for the Smart Sweets. The code is here on the screen for you guys if you're interested in picking them up. The peach rings are honestly my fave, so I'll be having those when I get out of the shower. So before I hop in the shower recap, day one went really well. I was not hungry at all. I started getting hungry right before lunch, and then I was pretty hungry about an hour after I finished my workout, which is standard, just because I burned so many calories at Jazzercise. I feel like it went really well today. I'm so far really liking it. I'm wondering if tomorrow my hunger is going to kick up a bit from maybe eating a little bit less today. I did double track in my Lose It app and my tracker, but overall, so far, so good. Good morning, happy Tuesday. We have coffee brewed and ready to go. It is currently 5.32 a.m. So of course I used my vital proteins, collagen peptides. Today I finished off what was left of this Natural Bliss Almond Milk Creamer. This is the caramel. This was good except for it has natural flavor so I won't be repurchasing it. I didn't even bother looking when I grabbed it really quickly at the store. So I finished this up. It is one smart point per tablespoon, I believe. I put one point's worth into my coffee, and then that is my beautiful coffee. So this is my one 
smart point start to my morning. My Thrive order just came, so I thought I would pop this into this video. I did a pretty small order. I was mainly after a new protein powder that we're gonna try today in our afternoon protein shake smoothie, and I'll let you guys know how it is, but I was mainly after that, and then I just ordered a few other things to make sure my order hit the $50 for free shipping. You guys, Thrive is so cute. Look at how it comes box. It's just absolutely awesome. There's a link down below for Thrive. It gets you $20 worth of free product of your choice with a membership it's free shipping they ship within a day or two it's i ordered this two days ago and it's already on my doorstep so i love them you guys see a lot of their products really really affordable prices and thousands of amazing products so highly recommend joining the thrive market the link is down in the description box so let's jump into what i picked up from thrive so first i restocked my balsamic vinegar because you guys know i've been loving salads and i make my own little vinaigrette i'll pop up here on the screen what is in my vinaigrette but it's really 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 simple and i need balsamic vinegar for that and this was seriously an excellent price at Thrive, so I picked that up. Also grabbed a box of organic fusilli pasta. This is gluten-free brown rice pasta, only because I'm on the purple plan this week, and if I wanted some pasta, I wanted the option to have a zero-point pasta. And then this is the main reason that I ordered from Thrive, and this is the Terra's Way grass-fed organic whey protein in organic bourbon vanilla. So I have heard nothing but good things about this protein powder and I really wanted to give it a shot. So it is one, uh, two smart points for two scoops or one smart point per scoop. But what I was most excited about you guys is the ingredients, that's it. So it has a whey protein concentrate, organic vanilla, sunflower lecithin, stevia leaf extract. Now I don't love stevia leaf, I'd rather see stevia, but it's organic so I know that it isn't processed with hexane. So that makes me happy. But I'm really excited to try this. We are going to be using this in our protein shake and I'll report back. One thing about Thrive is this protein powder. I found this on Amazon for about $33 and on Thrive it's only $24.99. So again, Thrive has fabulous prices. That is the cheapest by about five to $7 that I could find anywhere. So if we love this, highly recommend getting this off of Thrive. Also restocked my diced tomatoes. I love their brand of organic diced tomatoes. They're so good. So grab two more cans of those. Also restocked my Simple Mills Farmhouse Cheddar Crackers. These are those individual little packets. You guys know that I really like those because they're portion controlled and they're four points for the little packet and I can take them on the road. I like to dip them in cottage cheese and hummus. I just like that they are pre-portioned so that I don't overeat the crackers. That's a big thing for me. So I picked those up and then a couple new things. I got some treats for my dog. So these are the Lazy Dog Cookie Company Soft Bake Mutt Mallows. They have everything on Thrive. Cleaning, pet, beauty, healthcare, you name it, they have it. And in the pet section, I found these. So these are the Banana Buddies. They're wheat, corn, and soy-free. My dogs do eat grain-free, and they also eat uh, no chicken. They can't have chicken either. So these treats come in really, really handy. So here are your ingredients. Really, really good ingredients for dog treats. So I picked those up. Again, those are the Banana Buddies. And then I also grabbed the Maple Bacon Kisses, and they both have really, really similar ingredients. They were really affordable, and I thought that my dogs might like to have a little something different. And that helped me reach that $50 free, or $49, I think it is, free shipping threshold. So that's my little Thrive order. So here's breakfast for this morning. It's 7.30. I'm hungry. I've already been cleaning up my house and starting my housewife duties of cleaning on a Tuesday. So I'm having a big bowl of watermelon. I'm just about out, so I'll probably finish up what I have left here, of course, for zero points. And I made a breakfast sandwich today. So I'm having one of the Ezekiel English muffins, the 4-9 in the sprouted grain. I love these English muffins. I have one egg and then I have one slice of Jarlsberg light cheese. So it's four points for the English muffin, zero for the egg, one point for the cheese. So my breakfast is five smart points. Someone loves the warm blankets fresh out of the dryer. Are you cozy? Hi, babe. Oh yeah, you're so warm and cozy. And there's the other one. Oh, there he is outside. He's been out here pretty much all day. Cozy as can be out here, huh, buddy? All right, guys, here's lunch for today. It's 11. I'm hungry. I've been cleaning all morning, running around like crazy. I have 5,000 steps already, so I'm going to have lunch, and we're doing 
pretty much lunch on repeat from yesterday. So this is my mango chicken wrap that I made in my meal prep. This is really, really delicious. So I have one of the Siete flour or almond flour tortillas. That's the only thing in this lunch that has points. So it's only three points for the chicken wrap. I am having a low point lunch and snacks today because my dinner is pretty point heavy, but I can't wait to share the recipe with you guys. And then I have some papaya here that I just sprinkled with a little bit of lime juice. So this is lunch and water. I'm on like my fifth cup of water, but I think I'm gonna take lunch outside today. So let's go out on the patio. You guys wanna come out with me? I might even do a little workout here. Fill you guys in on my day so far. So I brought out my laptop. I've got um, a couple of things to figure out bill wise and then my water and Lola's out here. She's chilling in the bark there, but yeah, I have this really pretty view of my neighbor's garage, but also just this beautiful hillside of trees. Right on the other side of his garage is the river. So it's literally about a half of a block for us. We can just walk kind of out our back gate, like way back there in the corner, we have a gate and we can walk right down to the river. So this is kind of my pretty view as I sit out here on my patio. And by the way, my lunch was delicious. Oh, she's here and he's here. Hi bud, hi buddy. So yeah, we're just, gonna work outside a little bit it is a beautiful day it's gonna be in the mid 70s forgot to show you guys an update on my sourdough so i fed it this morning added a little more flour filtered water it's rising so i'm hoping i'll get to make the bread today so stay tuned it is protein shake time it's a little after two o'clock so we're gonna give the new terra's way protein a shot i will let you guys know for sure what i think of it I've heard nothing but good things. So I'm gonna do two scoops for two smart points and 21 grams of protein. One half of a cup of my Forager cashew milk. If I need more liquid, I'll just add some water. I'm going to throw in a big bag of frozen spinach for some greens, half of a banana, and then just some more of this dragon fruit blend. It's just about gone. I probably would not repurchase this. I got this at Costco. I don't like the coconut in there. And dragon fruit, in my opinion, isn't the best. It's not very sweet. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this, but I'm gonna use it up. So let's make this afternoon's protein shake. All right, so here it is. That's what the protein powder looks like. It's actually a nice, fine powder, and it's a pretty good size scoop as well. So yeah, let's blend this up. All right, and there it is. It looks super good. I'm really excited to give this a try. I'll definitely put on the screen here what I think of the Terra's Whey Protein. Smells good, looks good. So this is my afternoon snack. It's two for the protein powder, one for the milk. So this is a three smart point snack. So here is my dinner for tonight. We did a balsamic steak sheet pan dinner. This was part of my May menu plan. So for those of you that do my meal service off my Facebook group, this was one of the recipes. So I have some potatoes for zero, beans for zero, and then I have some New York steak. I will cut off all of the fat and trim it. And then I'm having a Zevia as well. So this is a seven smart point dinner on the purple plan. So here's dessert tonight. I'm gonna have one of the so delicious dairy-free coconut milk ice cream sandwiches. I really like these. They are kind of small, but they're made with just real sugar, real good ingredients. There's two ingredients I don't love, but for ice cream, this is the cleanest I can find. And they are 100 calories or four smart points a piece. So this is gonna round out my day. And actually I ended up with 24 out of 24 points. So I wanted to talk with you guys just a sec about my day and my final thoughts. Well, it's the end of day two on the purple plan and just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm in my pajamas, gonna watch a show and hang out for a little bit with this little one over here before we go to bed. But just wanted to let you guys know that I did okay today. I was a little bit hungry after my protein shake, but I literally didn't have any points left, so I just made it till dinner. Dinner was super filling. I had the steak, the beans, the potatoes, and then the ice cream sandwich for dessert. I was going to make a parfait, and that would have left me with one point, but I'm done for today. It's been a long day. So I went ahead and just had the ice cream sandwich. So. I'm feeling good. I'm liking the purple plan. I'm going to see how tomorrow goes with points. <laughs> tomorrow night we are having a shrimp stir fry. I'll be filming it. You guys will see it in this video and that'll be zero points. And I'm going to see 
and compare that with today where I ate a lot of proteins with points and see kind of where my thoughts are tomorrow with the purple plan. So I will see you guys tomorrow, Wednesday. Good morning, happy Wednesday. It is almost 5 a.m. I couldn't sleep, so I'm up making some coffee. I'm gonna make some sourdough bread this morning or at least get it ready to proof for about eight hours so I can make that loaf of bread. But here's what's in this morning's coffee. I'm gonna need it, probably gonna have coffee later too, but I have some of the Laird Superfood Creamer in chocolate mint. One smart point for the amount that I put in. I love this creamer. It has stellar ingredients. I buy this off of Amazon, I'll link it down below for you. Also, I like to add a little extra mint, so I add just about a half a teaspoon of this Frontier Co-op organic mint flavoring, and then I have some half and half, and I add maybe a teaspoon of that as well and I have coffee, so one smart point for Wednesday's coffee. All right, it's breakfast time. It is about 6.30, I'm getting pretty hungry. I am going to be getting ready. I'm gonna do kind of a quick get ready with me. We'll speed through it, but I wanted to show you guys some new products that I'm loving, and then I have a Zoom call with my office this morning as well. We're gonna jazzercise, we have a busy day. So I'm gonna start my day out with breakfast. So I'm having my meal prep, which is my oatmeal power bowl. I think I have one more left, so I'm gonna change up my food a little bit this week, but I love this bowl. It is amazing. It is only four smart points on the purple plan. It is so filling. It keeps me full all morning, which is awesome. And then I'm just having a hard boiled egg. I just have a little bit of the honey mustard from French's for zero points. So my breakfast is a total of four points. Hey guys, good morning. We're gonna do a quick get ready with me. I'm gonna show you close-ups of all the products that I'm using. I'll put them all down in the description box below for you. And then I'm gonna speed through me putting together my look for today. So I'm going very simple. I'm not doing any type of eyeshadow. I'm just doing a liner and I have discovered some new lashes that I'm obsessed with. They are magnetic, but they are so different than any other magnetic lash that you may have heard of in the past. They are literally phenomenal. I am going with a very natural lash today that's just going to accentuate my already natural lashes. No uh, eyeshadow, we're just gonna do some liner and a little bit of face product and some fun lipstick, and that's gonna be the look for today, so let's get started. Remember when you told me you believe in something and you said you're done Pretending that fate is patient Go run away, get it out of your system Come back when you're older Go find a place where you can't be the victim And come back for my lashes. So this magnitude liner that I showed you guys, one end of this has magnetic liner and the other end of your tube here has magnetic mascara. So it's kind of a double dip. This stuff is amazing and it's great and affordable because you get both the mascara and the liner in one. So I'm going to start first with the mascara. And when you're doing magnetic lashes, you just want the mascara on the very, very end, closest to your eye of your lashes. Now you're not using this to lengthen, you're using this to make the lashes stick. So the mascara is only going to go just right on the base. Again, you're not using it for lengthening. You wanna make sure that you're getting it completely on the base of your lashes, even those little tiny lash hairs. And then we're gonna give it just a second to dry. And then we're gonna put on our liner. Once your mascara is dry, go ahead and grab your same tool and grab the liner portion. Now with the liner, we only want it on like the very base of our eye, as close to our lash line as we can get. And what is awesome is even if you're not very good at liquid liner, you that is completely okay because when you put your lashes on, any little boo-boos that you make with your liner will be completely covered up with the lashes. It's pretty awesome. So you can see that I've got my 
liner on and then I'm gonna do the other eye. We're gonna let this dry two minutes and repeat. So once your liner is dry, we get to put on our lashes and I'm telling you, you guys, these are the best lashes. I can't wait to get some more in, but this is what they look like. They have little magnets on them. You can trim these lashes to fit your eye if you need to do that. Luckily, these fit me perfectly, but I just want to show you guys how incredibly simple this is. So we have the magnetic liner on. So literally, I am just going to stick it on my eye and voila, it is stuck to the liner and I have lashes on. So incredibly simple and they do not come off. I've tried to put a blow dryer on it. I've tried all sorts of things and I can't get these off. So these are my go-to lashes. They last a ton longer than the glue on. They don't irritate your eyes because a lot of people, the glue in the, to glue on the lashes will irritate their eye. This one does not. It's pretty amazing. So I'm going to link these eyelashes down below for you guys. They have a ton of fantastic different lashes from natural like these. These are the fantasy lashes to really bold lashes like the selfies, which I ordered because I love bold lashes. But yeah, these are pretty awesome. So I'm going to link these down below. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these off so you can see just how easy they come off. And I'm going to add another bit of liner because I want my liner a little thicker. I'm just going to use traditional crayon liner to get a little bolder look. And we'll stick these lashes back on and carry on with our makeup. Remember when you told me you believe in something and you said you're done pretending that fate is patient. Go run away, get it out of your system. All right, so my lashes are on. See, they're very, very natural. They just kind of accentuate my lashes I already had. I did want to share with you that these particular lashes, they come with two different sets you can double up and I just wanted to quickly show you kind of what that looks like. So if I take another set of the magnetic lashes, I can double add if I want to intensify the look of these lashes, if I want to make them thicker and bolder. So I can add a second lash on and I'll show you guys what that looks like. There you go. See how it's much bolder, much stronger. You can see the difference between the two. So depending on the look that you want, you can do one set of lashes or two. It'll magnetize right to the other. These lashes, you guys, are amazing. I'll be showing these a lot more. Highly recommend you check these out. If you're someone that struggles with the glue or if you just want some natural or not so natural, whatever your preference is, lashes that you can wear daily, these are awesome. And come back when you're old. look my eyes are much more of a natural look today than they normally are I usually have you know the big bold lashes but this literally took me 15 minutes this is less than a 15 minute makeup look you look completely put together you even have on some lashes so what could be better than that if you guys purchase one thing from this video get the lashes. If you want some suggestions on what lashes to choose, let me know. I'd be happy to help you. Again, there's natural like these all the way down to those really crazy intense lashes like the selfies. So I'm happy to help you. Also beauty counter, that glow lotion that I put on my face first, the white bottle, that stuff's amazing. It gives you a dewy glow even under all your makeup. So yeah, I'm a fan. So now I'm going to do my hair and the next time you see me, I'll be ready for the day. 
and I'm ready. So I am brewing up a pot of coffee. I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you the coffee that I'm using. It's my new obsession when it comes to coffee. I've got a workout shirt on, just did a quick get ready with my hair, straightened it with my Duval straightener. You guys know I love that, it's linked down below. You can actually get 70% off of that straightener. I've shown this in a couple of videos, I'll pop a picture in so you guys can see it. I love it and it's less than $30 and it works so well. So I just straightened my hair and we are good to go. Pretty natural look. If you took away the lipstick, it would be extremely natural, but still pretty and fresh with makeup. So let me flip you around and show you my coffee. I'm gonna also show you how my sourdough bread is looking and then we're gonna get on a Zoom call. All right, coffee is brewing. This is my new obsession, you guys coffee over cardio so not only did i buy the cutest shirt from them ever that i showed in my what i eat in a day last week i love this coffee this is the french toast texas sweet bread and on the back it says well butter my butt and call me a biscuit and you guys this coffee is the best coffee i've ever had i love bones but in my opinion this coffee is way better than bones it has better flavor it's not as bitter as the bones coffee and i think the flavor profile just really comes through a lot better i am going to be ordering several other flavors i did order this with my own money and i bought the shirt with my own money there are so many great flavors um including birthday cake hello birthday cake coffee yes please so Highly recommend, I'm gonna link this down below for you guys. I do have 10% off for you, so I'll put that down in the description box, but I wish you could smell my kitchen right now because it is legit like French toast heaven. I'm so excited. And I also like this coffee a lot that you don't have to put creamer in it. It just is a really well-balanced, smooth coffee. Love that, save the points on creamer. And then of course, it's fitting when I showed you these lashes. I'm gonna use this mug. This is from the Sweetwater Decor brand. I actually got this from one of my members of my Facebook group in a Christmas exchange. I love this mug, it's so cute. You guys, get those lashes. So here is my sourdough bread. So this morning, I went ahead and removed one third of my old starter, and I went ahead and started a second starter for another loaf. But I removed one third of the starter, I added four cups of flour, some filtered water, and a little bit of salt, and then you actually have to pull your dough twice, and then you keep it here in a bowl for about eight hours or until it's become kind of dome-shaped. And then we're actually cooking it in a Dutch oven. You guys, this is gonna be amazing. And like I said, I started a second jar going so I can make another loaf tomorrow, but I'll definitely keep you up to date on how the sourdough bread is coming along this week. All right, it's lunch time. So here's today's lunch. So I went ahead and made myself a salad. I decided not to do my new chick on the block that I really like on this salad. Check out my website for my favorite blue cheese spicy salad. So today, what I did is I did a bed of greens. I did my one ounce of blue cheese. And instead of the new chick on the block, I did this Applegate Natural smoked turkey breast because this is zero smart points. I just did two slices, which is one serving. So I added two slices kind of chopped up on my salad. And then I added my favorite, just a tablespoon of sunflower seeds. I really like the crunch that it gives the salad and that like little extra boost of protein. And then I made my own vinaigrette, which is my usual vinaigrette, one teaspoon Dijon mustard, one teaspoon olive or avocado oil and one teaspoon balsamic vinegar. Okay, this balsamic you guys, I got from Thrive. It is so good. It is thick and sweet. I am obsessed. And one teaspoon is zero points. I add a little bit of salt and pepper, mix it up, and I have a one smart point clean salad dressing. So the only thing on my salad that is points is one point for the sunflower seeds, one point for the dressing, and then it is four points for the blue cheese. Now you could sub a different cheese. You could use feta or fat-free feta if you wanna lower the points. I just love the blue cheese and I will take the four points. So my salad is six points. And then I'm going to have some papaya and I wanted to show you my favorite thing to do with papaya is just add a little bit of lime juice. Oh, it makes it so good and that's zero points. So my lunch is a total of six smart points. For an afternoon snack, I'm having one serving of the Good Culture 
cottage cheese for three smart points. Just added a little bit of pepper and then we'll get started on dinner. So change of plans for dinner. I was going to make shrimp stir fry, but I spent today making my first loaf of sourdough bread. As you guys know, I'm going to insert some pictures of what the sourdough bread looked like before we cut it up after this, but these are the slices. So they're nice big slices. I count them as four smart points just because they're pretty thick, big slices in the app. It says three but this is quite a large slice. So I'm gonna go ahead and count it as four points. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to have one tablespoon of the Trader Joe's organic peanut butter for three points. So that way I get a little bit of protein and hey, sometimes you just have to improvise dinner. Guys, let's recap day three of the purple plan. Today was rough. I was pretty hungry today. You saw what I had for dinner. You know, sometimes we just have to do what we have to do. It was absolutely delicious. So that's gonna end my day at 23 out of 24 points on the purple plan. And it was a struggle to stay within my points. I definitely wanted some extra snacks today. So I don't know what that means. I'm going to, of course, continue on tomorrow, Thursday. I'll be able to give you a whole week recap on Friday and I'll talk about exactly what my final thoughts are. But today I was a little more hungry. I still ended with one extra point, which is great. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, Thursday. Good morning, happy Thursday. Today I'm, as usual, having my coffee. We have quite the busy day today, so we're gonna get a jump start. It's about 6.30, so I'm having my collagen peptides, my peppermint sweet drops, and I went ahead and did the cacao powder of the creamer. That way it makes it like a peppermint mocha, so good. And then about a teaspoon of my half and half, and there she is. So let's get started on our Thursday. All right, for breakfast, I'm doing my last of my oatmeal power bowls for four smart points. No egg, I'm making it quick so I can get out the door, get my grocery shopping done, and then I actually have to go show some properties today. So let's have breakfast and then we'll get on the road to the grocery store. Hey guys, I'm at Walmart Grocery Pickup. This is stop number one for groceries. Sorry about this weird lighting. It's nice and sunny today, which is awesome, but this lighting leaves a little to be desired. So I'm here picking up my groceries. I did, I do have to stop by my office and just drop something off and check my mailbox. And then I'm heading to Trader Joe's. And then my last stop will be at Fred Meyer to grab just the last few couple of things. So it's a little bit of a busy morning. And then this afternoon, I'm heading out again to show some more property. And I'm in the process of making another loaf of my sourdough bread, which is amazing, you guys. It is so absolutely de delicious and i wanted to show you my lashes today so these are the fantasy the same ones as i wore yesterday but these are stacked which basically means that i have two both sets of lashes two sets stuck together and it just gives a bolder look so let me see if i can show you here can you guys see that there we go isn't that really cool so you can do a more natural look or a bolder look by stacking obsessed with these lashes. Of course, they're linked down below under Tori Bell. All right, guys, grocery shopping's done. I decided to grab an apple. It's almost 11. I'm hungry. By the time I get home, fill my groceries, put it all away, it's going to be past lunch. So zero points. And this is going to tide me over until lunch. So I'll see you at home. So here's my lunch for today. So I took a piece of the sourdough bread that I made. You guys, it's so good. Topped it with two points worth of avocado, some everything but the bagel seasoning, and two slices of that Applegate turkey. So the only thing that has points is three points for the slice of bread, two points for the avocado, and then I have some leftover potatoes and green beans from the steak dinner, and those are zero points. So this is going to be a five smart point lunch. All right, guys, it's snack time. It's about 3.30, I'm out showing houses. We have a couple more to go to. The first one was a dud, so hopefully the other two they like. I'll fill you guys in at the end, but I brought a built Bar with me because I have not had very much to eat today. It's been definitely a life happened today. So this is four points, this is the peanut butter. I love the nut base bars because they keep you nice and full, even though they're one extra point in my opinion, well worth it. So my code here on the screen gets you 10% off. If you're new to Built Bar, I have a special link for you down in the description where you'll get $10 off your first order. So save the code, you can use it over and over again, and there's a link down in the description box for you to order as well. So afternoon snack, four points. Hey guys, 
I just got home from showing property. It went really well. They actually liked two of the three. So her husband wasn't there unfortunately because he was working. So she's going to do a little drive by and hopefully show him those houses tonight. And maybe, just maybe, one venture out may turn into an offer. So cross your fingers for me. And a lot of you have been asking about real estate. If you guys don't live in Washington and you are looking to buy or sell or know someone looking to buy or sell, if you let me know, I can refer you to an agent in your area and that earns me a referral commission, which is very, very much appreciated. It's no extra money for you, whether you're if you're selling, it's just that I refer you to an agent and that agent pays me a portion of their commission for the referral. So I would appreciate any help you can send my way. But I'm home, I am just getting into my app right now to log all my food to see how many points I have left because I'm thinking I want a salad, but I want like a high point salad, my favorite salad. So I'm gonna see what I have left for points and then I'll show you dinner. All right, so I was feeling a salad for dinner. So I went ahead and made one up made sure I had the points available for it. So I have a bed of greens, the baby spring mix, and some arugula kind of mix those together. I have just shy of three quarters of an ounce of blue cheese, so a little over half an ounce, which is two smart points instead of four. And then I went ahead and added those leftover cooked carrots. You guys see those from the other night, kind of warm them up. I do like a little bit of warm on my salad. So I added those carrots for zero. I added one tablespoon of sunflower seeds for one and three of the color power, new chick on the block, spicy-ish chicken tenders. I'm obsessed with these. I really like these spicy ones in this salad only. I can't eat them by themselves, they're too spicy. But if I put it here in my salad, it's perfection. And then my traditional vinaigrette. This recipe is on my website. I showed you the vinaigrette earlier in this uh, video. So my blue cheese is two points. My chicken tenders are three, which makes five. My sunflower seeds are one and my dressing is one. So my salad is seven points. That leaves me three points for dessert. Tonight's dessert is going to be three points worth of Lily salted almond milk chocolate. I really like the Lily's chocolate. I've had this for quite a while, so I wanted to finish it up. So I'm gonna weigh out three points worth of the chocolate. I have no idea what that is, but I'll weigh out three points worth. And that's going to put me at 24 out of 24 points. I'm gonna flip you around and we'll do a recap. So we're gonna chat while I go put away the Lily's bar. So today went really well. I honestly was not as hungry today as I've been the last few days. So maybe the purple plan is kicking in a little bit more just for tomorrow to be my last day. But I felt like today went really well. I've been able to stay within my points every day, even though some days I'm hungrier than others, but it went well. I want to see how tomorrow goes since that's my last day. And then I'm going to weigh in on Saturday morning. So you guys, the weight I share with you in my weight recap on this last Friday was not my official weight on the purple plan. It was my weight on Friday, if that makes sense. So I will include my weight in this video at the very end from that Saturday weigh-in, which may be very similar to Friday, but I wanna give you a clear picture of what I ended up with on the purple plan. So that's it for me for tonight. I'm gonna drink a little bit of water, take a shower, relax, watch some shows, and I'll see you on Friday. Happy Friday. I'm in the car as you can see. I just finished my virtual workshop for this morning's coffee. I just had my norm with the collagen peptides and one point worth of the Organic Valley creamer. I didn't film it because I was running a little behind getting on that virtual workshop. So I'm actually headed out to film my recap of the virtual workshop as well as my weigh-in so far. But at the end of this video, I'm going to put my official weigh-in after today ends on the purple plan. I wanna give myself this full day and reweigh in the morning tomorrow to get a better number for exactly how these five days on the purple plan went. We'll recap, we'll talk about what I'm doing moving forward. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go film. I did bring a healthy eating all the time and go bar for breakfast. So, so far I've had one point for my coffee and I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast. I usually munch on that while I'm editing and uploading my weigh-in video. So happy Friday. So here's this morning's breakfast, the natural peanut butter oat bar. I love this one. Look at those chocolate chips. It is so good. You guys, this is the cleanest bar you're going to find. And the macros on this bar are outstanding. So I'm going to have this 
it is six smart points. However, it's probably less, honestly, on the purple plan since you don't count for oats. But better safe than sorry because I don't know for sure. I'm counting this as six points. And I just realized I have nothing to drink. And this bar makes me want to have something to drink. So I may grab something uh, to drink as well. If I do, I'll definitely show you. But six points for breakfast. All right, so I stopped at my local coffee shop and just grabbed two shots over ice with a splash of cream. I'm not even going to count it. I told her about a teaspoon, which is no point. So that I can sip on while I finish getting my video and everything filmed and uploaded. So we're about to head out the door. I'm going to slice one of these in half and have a piece of my sourdough bread. It's calling my name and I'm a little hungry and I want to try to make it through these errands. So that is going to be three points and is going to be a little snack before we head out. So we just got home from running our errands. You guys, it's almost three o'clock. I'm starving. So I decided because of the time crunch and not being too far from dinner, I'm gonna make lunch really easy. So what I have is I have a can of the Amy's Organic Quinoa Kale and Red Lentil Soup. This soup is really, really delicious. I scanned it and I'm recording the points that it scanned. However, it is quinoa and kale, which are both zero points on the purple plan, but there is some oil. So I'm gonna count it as it says for the entire can is going to be five smart points. It's so good. It's one of my favorite soups. And then I decided to pair that with a slice of my homemade sourdough bread for three. So my lunch is eight points, which is pretty heavy on the purple plan, but I'm not going to be having a snack because I'm literally a few hours from dinner. And that leaves me six points for the day. My dinner is four, which leaves me two points for dessert. So I'm doing pretty good. So Amy's soup and bread is what's for lunch. All right, guys, let's finish out this What I Eat in a Week on Purple Strong with another recipe. Tonight, I am making shrimp stir fry. I'm gonna show you what's in the stir fry. I'm going to be having mine over the Trader Joe's brown rice. I'll show that to you as well. My husband's going to have white rice. Here's what's in tonight's dinner. So first, you're going to need some shrimp. These are our favorite, you know that. The Private Selection Argentinian Red Shrimp. We love these. They're like really big shrimp and they're really moist and juicy like lobster. Really, really delicious. So I'll be using those. Some minced garlic, arrowroot powder in place of cornstarch. It's just a cleaner ingredient. Also, I have some raw honey, some green onions. In my little container here are some sesame seeds, lemon juice, ginger, sesame oil, coconut aminos, and last but not least, some yummy snow peas. So let's make some stir fry. So the first thing we're gonna do is put together the sauce so that it's ready to go. So in my little bowl here, I have three tablespoons of soy sauce. I used coconut aminos, which is just a soy sauce replacement. I also have two tablespoons of lemon juice, one big clove of minced garlic, one tablespoon of the arrowroot powder, which is basically the thickening agent, similar to cornstarch, and one and a half tablespoons of raw, filtered, organic, delicious honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that added in. We're gonna give this a stir and make sure everything's nice and combined and set this aside because this will be the sauce that will add to our skillet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my skillet warming up. Let's get some oil in there so we can start cooking our stir fry. So in my skillet, I have it warming up on medium high heat. I'm going to add two tablespoons of sesame oil. I really like this one. This is from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in two tablespoons. We're gonna let this warm up, get nice and hot. Once your oil gets nice and hot, our first step is to add in some more garlic. So a good size scoop of minced garlic. And then we're also going to add in some ginger. I just use the ginger paste. I think it's really, really easy to use. It stores really, really well in the freezer. So I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of that. And we're gonna let this cook just a bit so that it gets nice and hot and that garlic and that ginger starts to become fragrant. This is looking delicious. Okay, next step is we're gonna go ahead and add in the green onions. I went ahead and chopped those up. Listen to that sizzle. That is what I like to hear in a stir fry. And then I'm also going to add my entire bag of shrimp. Give this a stir. We're gonna let that cook for just a couple of minutes. I did make sure that I release any liquid out of the bag of shrimp. Sorry, I'm throwing in the last few green onions here um, so that it gets nice and crispy in the cooking. So this is the rice I'm going to have, the organic brown rice from Trader Joe's. I love this rice. It comes in these little bags. 
throw it in your microwave for three minutes, you have perfect rice. I'm gonna do the jasmine for my husband. Yum, okay, so our shrimp is about halfway cooked. So now it's time to add in the snow peas. You can see I went ahead and trimmed the ends. You always wanna do that with your snow peas because that part is not fun to eat. We're gonna stir these in, let it cook a couple minutes, and then add in the sauce. All right, we are almost to the end of making this delicious stir fry. Last step is the sauce. Let's add that. And with that arrowroot powder in there, it is going to thicken. So we're just gonna mix it Give it a few minutes to warm all the way through. Finish cooking those snow peas and get nice and thick. I have my rice in the microwave, so I'll be back to show you dinner. All right, guys, here is dinner. Look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely phenomenal? So I have some shrimp stir fry. I have about three quarters of a cup of brown rice. Obviously that's zero points. The shrimp is zero, the veggies are all zero. So the what is in this that has points is the sauce and the sauce is four smart points. So this is a four smart point dinner on the purple plan. And then I'm having my OG, my go-to, my Zevia and cola. So dinner tonight, four smart points. All right, we're ending our night with one square of these organic dark chocolate with blueberries. This is what they look like. They're so good. They have blueberries on the bottom of them. Delish. They're two smart points each. I got these at Costco. So that is going to be tonight's dessert. And that will finish my day at 24 out of 24 points. All right, guys. It is the end of five days on the purple plan. So I thought I'd sit down here on my couch and have a chat and let you guys kind of know what my thoughts are after being on the purple plan for a week or these five days. So overall... I liked it. There were a few struggles that I had, and those of you that are on the Purple Plan or have transitioned over to the Purple Plan maybe can share your feedback as well. But I had a little bit of struggle, and that was feeling like I had enough points to have snacks during the day and also to not have a zero point meal. And I talked about this a little bit earlier in the week, but I really felt pressured, I guess is the word, to make sure that my proteins and even my side dishes were zero points. So I felt pressured, so to speak, to have chicken or fish or ground turkey or potatoes. And I didn't really feel as much freedom to have other foods such as maybe steak or hamburger. Now the night that I had steak for dinner, my dinner was really high in points and I had to make sure that throughout the day I accounted for that, which I know is part of the game, but it was just, it was, I felt a little less freedom, I guess is the consensus of what I'm trying to say is I felt a lot more limited in the foods that I was eating, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because a lot of those foods, you know, quinoa, brown rice, chicken. I eat those anyways, but I like being able to have other proteins and not have it so negatively affect my points, if that makes sense. So that was one of the struggles that I felt this week on the purple plan. Other than that, the only other struggle that I had was seeing such a low number of points when I opened my app that I, it kind of freaked me out. It kind of was a mental thing for me to see such a low number of points and wondering how I was going to make that work for my day. So there was a little bit of a mindset or mental struggle as well this week with the points. So those are my struggles. The things I liked about the pro plan this week were the fact that I was able to eat all the foods I loved and they were zero points and that I really mindfully thought about building my meals around those zero point foods because I kind of had to, but also it drove me to those foods, which is the whole reason WW makes zero point foods zero points. That's just the reason that WW does that anyways, is to drive us towards making healthier choices. So there were some good, there were some bad, but overall I enjoyed my week on the purple plan. So with that being said, I've decided that I'm going to give it another week, but this time I'm going to actually start it on Sunday instead of waiting until Monday. So I'll be starting the purple plan on Sunday and continuing with that for another week. I think it's important to give it a fair shot and I feel like two weeks is a fair shot. So that is my plan for the next week. So I won't be filming it, but I'll share in my way in next Friday. I'll touch on it. I'll let you know how my week went and see if that delivers makes it a little bit easier and delivers a little more results on the scale. So I am planning on weighing in tomorrow, Saturday as my final weigh in. I'll share that with you guys, let you know what I lost this week on the purple plan.